Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going over a really cool trick. You can use this for uh, especially when you're taking pictures if the sky is in the background and you want to change the colors. It gives you a little bit more control over what those colors are. I'll be showing you guys a before and after for this image so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. This is before and this is after. So it's kind of just even changing the color of leaves, giving the sky a little bit more brightness and overall just the tone of the image. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so the first layer we're gonna be using is the curves layer. So go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast to this image. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit because it was getting out of hand just a little bit. And I do want to add a, you know, a bit of contrast so this is why I'm kind of making sure this is exactly how I want it. So I think that is pretty good. Just want to bring this point down a little. I think that's pretty good. Can never be too sure with curves layer. I'll like stay like 20 hours on a curves layer. Okay, but we won't do it for this tutorial. Um, the next uh, thing that we're gonna do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we're gonna go to channel mixer. And we're gonna stay on the red tab right now. And I don't even know why I'm doing this, but we're gonna add one for green. <laughs> kind of like, we feel sorry for you, so we're just gonna add one. And then we're going to go from red to blue. And I'm going to be filling in some of these right now. So basically, we're just playing with the green right now. We didn't really do much of anything. We're going to go from normal to color. And we're lowering this to 20%. So very subtle. We're just bringing out that yellow, if you guys can tell. And then the next thing that we're going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then selective color. We're going to go from red to yellow. And I'm just going to fill out these. You can play with these, by the way, all these numbers, especially experimenting on here is the best. Really, really fun. Might drive you crazy sometimes, but overall it's fun. And I went from the whites, so we are going to go to the neutrals. And I just added a little bit more color to these. And the color of the sky changed just a little bit, which is why I wanted. And then we're going to make another selective color layer. So layer, new adjustment layer, and then selective color. We're going to stay on the reds this time. So as you can see, I'm giving the face and these shadows, especially a little bit more color. And I'm going to go from red to yellow. So mostly in this layer, I'm using the reds and the yellows. And I'm trying to really control the skin tone for this one. Uh, this selective color was more of the background. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to create a gradient map right now. So I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then gradient map. And we're going to do an orange to yellow. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, we'll use this one. Yeah, why not? And I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to go from normal to soft light for the layer setting. And then I'm going to lower this all the way down to 13 because I don't want it to be too crazy. You really want to make, make slight changes. That's going to help you overall because it's going to complete the image a little bit more instead of you just doing like 100%, like 80 or 85 
And then we're going to go to Hue Saturation. So layer, new adjustment layer, and then Hue Saturation. And this is where it really changes everything. You can change kind of what color scheme you want your picture to be, which is really cool. Again, I would recommend your picture have a colored background because it'll be a little bit more drastic. It'll be a drastic change. So for this one, I selected this kind of background where it's a little bit more orange. You don't have to do this. You can completely change it. Now, as you can tell, the model is all purple. And yeah, it doesn't really look that great. So what we're going to do is it already comes with a mask, this layer. So I'm just going to take a brush and then mask her out. And the way I'm doing this, I really did not do anything special, you guys. Don't freak out. Just make sure this is selected. Grab a brush, any brush. Make sure it's black and just color over your model or any subject you do not want to be affected by this. Because I just really want to change the background with this layer. This is essentially the background layer. So just color that in. It's going to be a really horrible coloring job right here. If you make a mistake, press X, and with the white, you can simply just color it back in. She has like purple hair at the bottom right here. This is probably going to be the worst coloring I've ever. I was, I'm really good at coloring too, really. I should join like a like a league of coloring, like the color coloring books competition. Okay, here we go. So the last thing that we're going to do with this image is after you've selected kind of what color you want, you're going to go from normal to color. And I'm just going to lower the opacity just a little bit. And that'll make it a little bit more natural looking. So as you can see, uh, the hue saturation layer really was the key player in this. And So this is the before and this is after. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it. It's before and after. And again, if you do want to control the contrast, you can go back to that curves layer and just do that and just play around with the curves right here. So uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching.